Does rugby headgear prevent concussion? A team led by Dr Andrew McIntosh from the University of New South Wales has just published the results of a major study into this important question. We observed a lot of players were wearing headgear. So you go and see a game of rugby on the weekend, a, like a schoolboy game or a community rugby game, and there was increasingly proportions of players wearing headgear. And we wondered whether there was any evidence that it was effective in preventing head injury and especially concussion. I'd say that, that headgear is pretty good. I mean, I haven't had any problems. Uh, people who wear headgear tend to get concussion left. You see guys on television who get knocked around. Majority of them wouldn't be wearing headgear. A lot of guys, you know, swear by it. I guess it's just a preference thing you know some guys prefer to play it some guys find it find it uncomfortable and I guess until you get your head knocked about it you don't really think about wearing it too much so. We undertook what's called a randomised control trial that gives the best evidence for the effectiveness of an intervention. In our case the intervention was whether headgear prevented concussion or head injury. So we had a control group, we had a group wearing standard headgear. In addition we had another arm where players were allocated uh, what we called modified headgear. Well, the modified headgear has, uh, is, has thicker foam inserts and the foam in it is denser than this uh, standard headgear. We recruited about 3,500 participants, some of whom played in both seasons. What we found in the study was that padded headgear does not prevent concussion and doesn't prevent head injury. But in terms of more major head injuries, like a, a laceration that would be bleeding and it might need to be sutured, or a concussion or injuries which stop the person playing the next week, headgear doesn't make any difference to those injuries. It doesn't change the incidence of those injuries. The findings that were true for this, which is a standard headgear, and to a large extent true for this modified headgear. What we did find that was that there was a trend with this headgear that there was a reduction of more than 50% in the, the incidence rate of head injury and concussion leading to someone missing a game. But because of the study running for two years and our sample size, that was not a statistically significant finding. It would surprise me because, um, like I said, I, I haven't had as many problems. A lot of times it sort of depends on how you play the game, you know, like guys that really get in there and play rough, I've seen them get knocked out with headgear as without headgear. We need to return to the laboratory to do more work looking at the mechanics of head injury and then try and match material that's around like polyethylene foam that's in this, the right density and thickness to the dynamics of the impact that are occurring in a, in a, on the sports field. And I think that if we do that, we can then improve the, the quality of the headgear. My brother plays first grade for Sydney Uni. He went into a ruck, was on the side in the second row, uh, stomped on his head and he actually had his ear ripped off and had to have a, a microsurgery to sew it back on. So, you know, th there's a few other reasons why, besides concussion, that it's quite useful to have a headgear. So you're leaving your headgear on? Yeah, I think I'll leave my headgear on for a bit longer. Yeah, right, 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 right. Good work. Post up. Post up. Post up. Post up.